Breaking Down the Law is sponsored by Battle Born Injury Lawyers. Underage drinking parties are never legal, but in the age of COVID and tight regulations, there are perhaps more consequences. Two parents in Massachusetts facing charges for hosting such an event for minors and subsequently forcing the delay of a high school's opening as the kids were quarantined. So what are the charges? Could something like that happen here in Nevada? Attorney Matt Hoffman with Battleborn Injury Lawyers breaking down the law. It is Wednesday. Matt, let us start with the first question. What is this couple facing? Yeah, the, the um, this is a classic case of kind of burying the lead. So the headline is there was this huge party involving over 50 minors, got busted by the police. It's in violation of COVID. Uh, the school had to shut down for 14 days because they don't know who was at the party. A lot of the kids were running away, so they just quarantined the whole school for 14 days. But uh, what you're led to believe is that the parents were charged for violating COVID restrictions when in reality they're not. The parents are charged with uh, social host liability. That's in unique to Massachusetts. Mm. So what they're saying is you had a party with minors drinking. You can't do that. And as a result, um, they're being charged for that. So they're not actually being charged with anything to do with COVID. Um, and in Massachusetts, I mean, I'm actually unaware of any enabling statute that allows um, criminal penalties against individuals for violation of the governor's orders. Um, so I think that's why you're seeing this, um, is that, you know, it's just like college parties. You know, college parties are happening, more than 50 people getting together and they're getting in trouble, but they're not being charged for COVID you know, violations, they're being charged for loud, loud party violations or minors in consumption. So you're not seeing any charges related to the actual COVID restrictions, but um, these parents could still face civil liability for that kind of thing. So, I mean, if you got a bunch of minors, you're hosting a party or, or adults for that matter, it violates the rules. People get sick, they could come back and sue you uh, for that and they could face liability from the school district. You know, they had to shut down operations for 14 days, but they still had to pay expenses. Um, so you could see something from that. I doubt it from the school, uh, but that's kind of where that's at. Okay. I have a lot of questions. Obviously, drinking is, you know, one of the big factors here. Underage drinking is always le illegal, um, but you're saying they could face civil just for getting together if someone was to get sick. So is, can something like this happen here in our state, in Nevada? Yeah, and it could. You know, I mean, in Nevada, we have dram shop laws. You can't be, um, you know, you can't be charged criminally or civilly for over-serving somebody, but the, the, the one number one exemption to that is if they're minors. So just like in Massachusetts, you can't have a big party where you're furnishing alcohol uh, to minors. You don't even have to be the person that bought it. You're providing the place where it's happening. So you could see the same exact scenario here on that front. As to the COVID restrictions, same answer. There, I don't know any enabling uh, statute that says that you can be personally criminally charged for violating the governor's orders. What we've seen is violations of the orders by businesses being punished. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense because businesses have business licenses and that's what enables the state and local governments to do that. Um, and of course, with the governor's new decree, now the party would have to be extremely massive with 250 people uh, instead of 50. Um, but uh, I don't see that there would be any different result here in Nevada versus Massachusetts. Um, I still think that uh, if you throw a large gathering and people uh, were to contract COVID, you could face civil liability because even with the uh, the laws that were passed protecting businesses, those don't, those don't protect individual homeowners um, if you were to host such a party. So the civil penalties could be there, but not criminal because it's not technically it's a law, it's an order. Right. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Matt, as always, we appreciate you breaking down the law, making it easy for us to understand how this all goes about and takes about. And hopefully folks will just be smart and not do that, regardless of the underage drinking. Stay safe. Matt, thank you for your time. We always appreciate you on Wednesdays. Thanks for having me.